What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we got something special. We got our hands on the brand new PlayStation Portal as well as the new PlayStation Pulse Explorer, the new earbuds meant to work with your PS5 or your PlayStation Portal. So let's do a quick unboxing, check out everything inside of it. Now a quick look around the box, you can see the portal, it's a remote player and this side just gives you more details but if you guys take a look, PlayStation is making sure you see that there is a PS5 in the picture as well because this thing does not operate on its own. This is an accessory for the PS5, so uh, no standalone gaming here. All right, but let's pop this thing open. Okay, so here it is. Oh, this is actually a pretty nice box. So we've got a tab over here that you can just pull out. So in here we have a little box with, so we've got a USB-C to C cable, kind of like what you see with the PS5. Over here we've got the bad boy. We're gonna get to that in a second. And over here we've got the instruction manual, remote player. That's exactly what this is. Now huge shout out to Sony for sending this to us a little bit early to check out. Uh, but as of right now, we're not gonna power it on, but we will take a look around everything else included. If you guys aren't familiar, the PlayStation Portal is basically, it's a handheld remote play device. So basically you can play games from your PS5, you can stream it right to the device and play like you would if you were on the TV. So it's got a very similar shape to a DualSense controller. Uh, you got the same button layout. You got your D-pad over here, your joysticks on this side as well as your face buttons. And you've got your menu, your share button, you've got your PlayStation button over here, and your mute button on this side as well. On top, you've got all your typical triggers, your power button. This is the link button, the PlayStation link button. So with this button, you'll be able to pair something like the Pulse Explorers. Now with this device, there's no Bluetooth to connect your Bluetooth headphones with. And while some people had have an issue with that, it's also very PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation hasn't allowed you to pair a pair of Bluetooth headphones to any of their systems. Uh, so they're not switching up anything different over here. It's the same, but you do have the ability to pair with this button. So you don't have to use a dongle for their specific headphones anymore. So that's nice. Uh, and on this side, you have your volume button. So you got your volume controls. Uh, this does have speakers built into it so you can listen and play games and hear everything. You also still get all of the same haptics in here as well. So everything you come to expect when you're actually using your typical DualSense controller, you're going to get all of that here as well. Now I'm not sure how many of you have seen my previous PlayStation Portal video, but in that video we saw a glimpse of how it actually runs. I got to test it out, play it. Uh, one of the cool highlights is on the sides, you have like these LED strips. Uh, you can't see them on right now, but right here on these parts, uh, you have those LED strips, so it'll be blue, or depending on the game, the developers can change the colors depending on what's happening in the game, but that part basically lights up. Now this is an eight inch LCD display, 1080p, runs at 60 hertz. So like a pretty standard setup, you're not gonna get like 120 frames from this or anything like that, no 4K. But for a screen this size, I think that's fine. You also get a mic over here so you can party chat as well as your USB-C port and your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So all the things that you come to expect from your standard DualSense controller, everything is here. The only thing that you might notice is missing is the trackpad, but there is a digital one that'll be on the screen since, you know, this is all screen. You can't have a trackpad somewhere, uh, but you get a digital one that you can interact with. Now pre-order started for this a while ago. I think it's going to officially be released on the 15th. So that's when they'll be shipping. That's when you'll be able to see them in stores. But I'm actually more excited for this than I thought I was gonna be because lately I haven't been able to play my PS5 that much because I really just can't sit in front of the TV when I'm at home. It's, it's just not feasible these days for me, you know, being a dad and all. But, I'm able to play my handhelds no problem. Like before bed, I'm able to jump in bed, game for, you know, like a half hour or something. And this is the perfect device for that. Now, for those of you wondering and having questions, like what about connecting? Like how do you play games? How does it all work, right? Now I saw a lot of your questions on my previous video, uh, but 
with this device, it's going to stream your PS5. So can you play games by itself? No, you're not gonna be able to play any games by itself. You're going to need a PS5 to make this thing work. This is an accessory, not a standalone device. Now, what's special about this compared to remote play on like your, your laptop or maybe your phone is that Sony has made this a more optimized experience. So if you're playing with your PS5, and I keep pointing over here because we got a PS5, but if you're playing with like your PS5, uh, you'll be able to get the best experience from remote play. But what's nice is that you'll also be able to take this hopefully somewhere else with really good internet and uh, also be able to stream from the PS5 to the device. So the best scenario is them being on the same network, but you can take this off to a different network and still potentially play. Now your internet speeds will obviously determine just how good of an experience you have, uh, but the possibility is there. Now, if your PS5 is off or in rest mode, uh, the PlayStation portal will be able to wake it up so that it can get a connection and you can continue playing. Uh, but if it is off, I think completely, I don't think you'll be able to turn it on from the portal. It has to be in that like rest state. Jay, you didn't you didn't hold this yet, right? You haven't uh, gotten it. You didn't go with us. Check it out, man. It's a, a very interesting feeling. It's like holding the holding this. The, yeah. But with the, with a screen in the middle. It's just wider. It's like a wider dual sense controller. Uh, yeah. Even though it's so long, it may may look a little awkward, but it is surprisingly comfortable. Hold on, it's actually more comfortable than holding this. You think so? Uh, yeah, it's because it's ergonomic is a little bit different, I feel like. I feel like this has more arc to this, so. It might also be because there's more of a curve on the inside over here, so you can just kind of grip it better. While this is a super comfortable controller, I can understand why you might think that's more comfortable too. Yo, Carl, yes. come check this out. All right, so PlayStation Portal, how's that feel? It's like wide. Feels like my controller, like my regular controller, but it's like so wide. Well, yeah, it's wider, obviously. No, yeah, yeah, yeah that's <laughs> what I'm saying, but it does feel like a regular. Does eh, that take some getting used to? You think so? Yeah, for me, it it's, be... it's hard because you can't see the screen, but if you had the screen on and you're actually playing a game, at least for me, when I jumped into a game holding it, it felt like a dual sense. This is the PlayStation Portal 199. It's actually a really good price for a device like this. And I think that's just Sony saying, hey, listen, this is an accessory for when you're not able to play on your TV. Maybe somebody's watching TV, but you still wanna play. You can go ahead and pick this up so you can play alongside your PS5. Uh, you won't be able to watch content on here though. You'll only be able to stream your games and that's about it. You are streaming everything that you're doing on your PS5. It's not like the PS5 is just sending Spider-Man to you and you're playing on this. Every little move that you do here is being reflected on your PS5. So if you were to switch the HDMI to your PS5, you would see that everything is the same. The menus, playing the game, punching, all the stuff is actually happening here. This is just your portal into seeing what's happening on your PS5. Dun dun dun. Okay, let's check out the Pulse headphones or earbuds. These are the Pulse Explorers. Now, obviously this will work with your PlayStation portal, but it also just works with your PS5 as well. So you don't need the portal to look into this. So it tells you everything that you get, gives you instructions on what to do. These are the earbuds. You get another USB-C to USB-A cable. So this is a USB-C to A and not just a C to C. You get different ear tips on this side and you got your PlayStation Link adapter. So the PlayStation Link adapter is actually something worth talking about. This is not just like your standard dongle. With this, you can pop it into your PS5 obviously and connect to your Pulse. Um, but what's also special about this is you can get multiple of these and have it work with multiple devices at the same time. So you can have one in your PS5, have one in your PC, have one in your laptop. You can have it in multiple things and basically switch to that source on the go so you're not tied to just one device. They also do have Bluetooth, so while you're linked with your PS5 or computer, you can also have it paired to your phone so you can actually have both running 
at the same time. So while you're having a phone conversation, you can hear your game. While you're playing your game, you can listen to some music, a podcast, whatever it may be. Uh, so you can go ahead and take advantage in that way. So connectivity is a big deal here. So this is it. It follows the design language of like the PS5, that white and black. We've got our USB-C port over here. And what's interesting about this one is that it moves to the side to open. So it's got this little bar in the back. That's what it lines up with. We pop that open and then you get access to the earbuds. So you can just pop these into your ear and do your gaming or listening to music or take a call, whatever. You can do the things. Now, when we take a look around the earbuds themselves, they have a couple of buttons. The top has your volume control, so you can control the volume for the earbud. And you also has a link button right here. So you got a few different link buttons. You got one on each earbud and you can also control the volume on each earbud as well. And you might notice a little button right here. That is your link button. So you can pair it up with your portal or with your adapter. Now, surprisingly, this is going to cost a little money. Now, these use some really special drivers for audio, which is usually found in premium headphones. So they're going to be here as well as the bigger pulse headphones that are coming out soon. Uh, but those two use special drivers and the drivers are the things inside the ear cups that deliver the music. So I'm really excited to see how these work out. I've got some testing to do, lots of <laughs> work, and uh, I'll have a review for you guys pretty soon. So I'm extremely pumped. Again, shout out to Sony for hooking us up a little bit early. If you aren't sub to the channel, we're going to be covering a bunch of the new PlayStation hardware. Obviously, I'm going to be reviewing these all separately. Uh, we've got the new PlayStation Slim in. Lots of cool PlayStation content coming soon, so make sure you're subbed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, be the cool guy or girl that gives it a thumbs up. I'll catch you in the next Wait, I said that right. Whatever. Peace. I'm excited. <laughs>